Welcome in, everyone, to a very special edition of the PCFF podcast. Today, for the first time ever, we're going to play some PCFF trivia here on the show. And I'd like to welcome all of our guests on today's show. First up, the most important person on this show, and he will be picking first in our game because that's the way it is. He's Daniel Hager, Carolina Crush owner. Hello, Daniel. Hey, Cliff. How you doing, buddy? Good. Daniel joining us inside the Pirate Radio Studios. Uh, also joining us today is the champ. The champ is here. He is Brian Perry, Miami Militia owner. Hey, Brian. What up? <laughs> and finally, Mr. Sammy the Shark himself, Matt Hager, Tennessee 39 is owner. Hello, Matt. Thanks for having me. Gentlemen, we are all gathered here today to uh, play a little round of PCFF Trivia. Um, hopefully, what what I'd like to do is whoever wins today will move on to uh, the second round of the tournament, and maybe I can get like Gary, Charlie, and Blake on at one time to play. What are the odds of that happening? Good luck with that. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, probably won't happen. Can't even get them out the draft. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get things started here, gentlemen. Uh, your categories are everybody all right. All right. I'm good. You're, yeah, I'm, I'm you're, fine. Your categories are league history, name that player, current events, which are current uh, statistics in the PCFF, and also two mystery categories that you can choose from. So if you want to take, if you don't like those categories, you can take a mystery category. I didn't give those out in advance because I thought they'd be too easy to study. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get the game started with uh, Daniel Hager in studio. Daniel, uh, which category? And Daniel, if you if you do not correctly answer the question, it goes to Brian. If Brian can't get it to Matt, if nobody gets it, we uh, we move on. So Daniel, your first category. Okay. First of all, um, I don't have access to a computer here. Is, is Mr. Perry or Mr. Hager? Um, oh, I hadn't thought about that. But no, I, Brian, can we I trust you? I don't have a computer either. So I'm sitting on the front porch. <laughs> all right, all right, sounds, sounds good. good. I'll do it with uh, name that player to start it off. Name that player probably our could be our easiest category, but we'll see. Be careful. Uh, <laughs> be careful, says Matt. Probably not talking to any one of us. Uh, okay, Daniel. This player, who's no longer in the league, earned five game balls in his career. By the way, I'll name that player. If you can answer it in the first question, you get four points. The game goes to five. Uh, if it takes you all four clues, you only get one point. Uh, this player earned five game balls. He had an amazing 16 touchdowns in 2004. This player attended Michigan State. Do you need your final clue? Say he's no longer in this league? Correct. Do you need your final clue? Yeah, I guess I'll need a final clue. This wide receiver helped win a championship for the cartel in 2004. I know it. Five game balls in his career, 16 touchdowns in the championship year for the cartel in 2004. And he's a Spartan. Um, well, we're quickly running out of time. Okay, and let's, uh, I just, I don't know. You have to go uh, okay. to uh, Mr. Perry. Brian Perry, can you get the steal? I don't know it either. <laughs> All right. That's going to be uh, Moose and Muhammad. That is oh, correct. Shit. Matt Hager with a very <laughs> impressive steal. Early in this game, Musin Muhammad, the correct answer. He does have the internet on his cell phone now. Uh oh, conspiracy. <laughs> I can't even figure out. How to I don't know. <laughs> Brian Perry, you control the board. League history, name that player. Current events are one of our two mystery categories. I'll stick with name the player. Okay, going back to name that player. This player only had one game ball his entire career. He is no longer in the PCFF. He hauled in 73 catches for 811 yards and two touchdowns way back in 2001. He attended Savannah State. Do you need the last clue? Yeah. This tight end is in the NFL Hall of Fame. Uh. You better get it, or I think Matt's going to go up to nothing here. Shane Shaw. That is correct. Conclude. That is correct. Yeah. Brian Perry. That was a clue also. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Brian <laughs> Perry right. is on the board. Matt and Brian have won. Daniel's still looking uh, for his first point today. Maybe he can get it on a steal because it's Matt's category now. League history. Name that player. Current events. Mystery category. 
Uh, we're going to go name that player again. All right, this is our final name that player, by the way. Uh, this player, who is no longer in the league, earned seven game balls in his career. I know it. <laughs> this player called 90 passes. 90 passes uh, in 2007. Matt, your third clue, this player attended Villanova. Uh, your f- I, okay, I'm going to need that read to me again. I'm sorry. I'm actually giving my daughter ice cream at 1.30 in the afternoon to keep her quiet for the duration of the program. All right, we appreciate what, everything you're doing. Uh, seven game balls in his career. He's no longer playing in the PCFF. He had 90 receptions in 2007. He went to Villanova. Ooh. Ooh. And, and there's one more clue. Yeah, let's get that clue. The, this running back won a championship with the Carolina Crush in oh, 2000. That's going to be Brian Westbrook. Correct. Oh. Brian Westbrook. So Matt Hager takes a uh, an early lead here. He's got two BP with one. Daniel, back to you. League history, current events, or one of the mystery categories? Uh, let's go league history for uh, one point. League history for <laughs> one point. Two-part question for you, Mr. Hager. Who was the first player ever selected in the PCFF draft? Peyton Manning. Um, I believe that is incorrect. Um, <laughs> Brian, can you steal? First player ever selected, and what team p- selected him? Fuck, I wasn't even in the league then. Oh, um, shit. I'll go with uh, Marshall Falk. Oh! Correct. And the 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 team that selected him, Ooh. which is going to be really hard for you, I guess. I'm going to guess the Tampa Bay Tundra. <laughs> nice. Are you sure you don't have a computer wow. in front of you? He's definitely got a computer. <laughs> uh, I swear I don't. Just the way he said it. Brian Perry picks up his second point. Daniel, that's, that's I had you pegged to win this game. That out. Brian, uh, good news. You control the board, and you're tied with Matt with two points. League history... Current events, mystery category. Mystery. Wow. Oh, shit. I didn't put the answers down on my answer sheet here, but I think I remember them. All right. This category, mystery category, is number one picks. In 2001, (laughs) the Washington Snowmen selected this running back number one overall. Again, this, I guess. uh, No, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. Matt. Um, did you give another clue? No, that's just one question. So this is just one question. Uh, you selected him first in 2001. It's a running back. That's a clue. Uh, oh, man. 2001. You know, I, I don't know. I don't think this is right. I guess I'm going to go Curtis Martin. I'm sorry that's incorrect. Daniel, can you get on the board? I think Stephen Davis. That is correct. Stephen Davis, oh. a great number one selection. We lived together then. Ah, well, that was pretty Not easy. Not Stephen Davis to me, but you and me. <laughs> All right, Matt, you control the board. The score, Matt 2, Shut up. BP 2, Daniel 1. Matt, uh, league history, current events, mystery category. I'm going to go league history here. League history. Who was the MVP in the league's first season? By the way, I got all these stats from the PCFF website. First season, I believe that championship was won by the Crush. Seemed like they had a pretty good two-headed monster then, but it wasn't Thomas, and he wasn't around yet. I don't think it was Westbrook. We're listening to Matt go through the options in his head. Probably a wide receiver. I don't know. That MVP may have played with some ass. I'm going to go with the obvious choice here in in Marshall Falk. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Daniel, can you get the steal? I believe it was Randy Moss. That is correct. Randy Moss from the Cleveland Canine. I remember making a picture of him dressed in a Cleveland jersey. <laughs> and we are all tied up, folks. You cannot script this. Daniel with two. BP with two. Matt with two. And I believe Matt had the last category, so Daniel, it's back to you. Uh, we'll go with mystery. Oh, mystery. <sighs> This is really difficult, or it could be easy. This this category is I'm about to change my uh, category. This category is Mister Irrelevant. The last player selected in the 2002 draft was a former Heisman Trophy winner, winning running back from the Big Ten. Ah, uh, shit! 
The last player selected in the 2002 draft was a former Heisman Trophy winning running back from the Big Ten. Can't remember if he won it or not. Um, I believe it was a Michigan running back. Um, I'll just guess Ron Dane. I know he didn't go to that Michigan. That is correct. But Ron Dane went to Wisconsin. Came to, I know he did. It came to me. I was going to say Bianca Patuka or Tyrone Wheatley, but Ron Dane, it came to me right before I said it. Great job, Daniel. Man, you guys are bringing it. Daniel is, we'll, has, Daniel's come all the way back to take the lead here. Three straight points. Brian Perry, uh, you need a point, Mr. Perry. You need league history, uh, current events. Current events. Current events. Uh, okay, let's do this one. What wide receiver leads the league in points? Hey, Calvin him. Johnson. That is incorrect. Matt. Oh, Wes, Wes Welker. That is correct. Damn it. <laughs> All the touchdowns might get it. Yeah. No. Matt Hager with three. Daniel with three. BP with two. Still still much in this game, BP. Uh, Matt, league history, current events, mystery. What are current events? All right. This is uh this is an interesting one. You might want to put down Ava for this one. Well, she's working on her second bottle of ice cream in addition <laughs> to her chest mix and shredded cheddar cheese. Awesome. One team owns the top two leading rushers at the receiver position. Did you get all that? Name the two players and what team they play for. One team owns the top two leading rushers at the wide receiver position. Name the two players and the team they play for. Well, Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I know the answer. I know two of the three answers, but I don't know the third. And you don't want to give away one of the answers. And I don't want to give away the two. I know. Right. I know for sure. I know the third. How much time I got on this? I'll give you uh, ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with the New Orleans or New Orleans Resurrection. And one the- of the wide receivers being Percy Harvin. And the other one, I'm going to go. I guess he's a he plays wide receiver in fantasy. I'm going to go Dexter McCluster. That is that is correct and very impressive, Matt Hager. Well done.